it's a pain just to write this. I don't mean that figuratively either, after playing Sidearm's Hyperdyne, I needed a wrist brace and a couple ibuprofen. This thing is brutal on a scale that our 20 teens consciousness can barely compute. On top of the injury, I became dizzy while playing for only 20 minutes. Auto fire? Nope. You have to hit that button every time you want a bullet on the screen. And it doesn't help that your basic armament has about the stopping power of a warm pool noodle. Scratch that, half of a warm pool noodle. The year is 1986, the evil masterminds behind all of this are Capcom, and I'm about to forward them a bit. Sidearms is a fairly standard side-scrolling shmup featuring one or two dudes in massive space piloting armor with guns. Lots of guns. There's your standard pool noodle shooter and five special weapons that have to be found in the wild before they're added to your arsenal. There's a railgun, a spread gun, a three-way gun, and yes, that display down at the bottom of the screen there does look a hell of a lot like Gradius. The mechanics are a little different though. You can collect the guns in any order and switch between them at any time. And should you die, and you are going to die repeatedly and ingloriously, you only lose whichever gun you were holding at the time. Which is refreshing, until you die three times in short succession and lose your entire arsenal and then have to take down a boss with the aforementioned pool noodle cannon. As strange as this sounds, Sidearm suffers from the same kind of sprite bloat that plagued another Capcom title, Mega Man and Base. Everything's just so big. That screen gets exceptionally crowded, especially when the enemies start firing off homing missiles like it's the 4th of March in July. It certainly doesn't help that as a flying spacefaring robot armor thingamabob of immense size, your hitbox is freaking huge. Combined with a painfully short grace period after getting blown to pieces, you quickly learn the true blood vessel bursting capacity of this monstrosity. Good games are tough, great games are brutal but fair. This... This is on normal difficulty and it's still having its way with me. The only safety you can find is by grabbing the glowy orbs with Greek letters on them, which allow you to merge with the secondary craft that enters from off screen and gives you an 8 way explosion attack at intervals in addition to the standard weaponry which kind of makes it look like your robot shooty craft is having a seizure. Likely the result of the intro video, which seems like the inspiration for that infamous Electric Soldier Porygon episode. And you're supposed to input your initials while this is happening. How Capcom managed to reprint this on Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2 for PS2 and remixed for PSP, as well as for the TurboGrafx-16 and various PC platforms, without a pile of lawsuits, is completely beyond me. Now I'm gonna go grab an ice pack.